This video will cover how to use Google's Smart Lock to unlock a Chromebook using an Android phone. To use this feature, you need to be running Chrome OS version 71 or later, and Android version 5.1 or later. You also need to have a password on your Android phone. To start, we need to make sure that our Android phone is connected to our Chromebook. Let's open settings to check if they are connected. You can do this by selecting the time at the lower right of the screen, and then selecting the gear icon. Once in Settings, select Connected Devices on the left side menu. At the top, under Connected Devices, we can see if our phone is connected. If your phone is already connected, you can skip ahead. To connect a new phone, we will select Set Up. If your devices are both on the same Wi-Fi network, your phone should appear under where it says Device Detected. From here, we can select Accept and Continue at the bottom right of this window. Now you'll be prompted to enter your account password. Once entered, you can select Done. If the password was accepted, it should say All Set. Now select Done. Great! Now our phone is connected. You may even see a notification that Smart Lock is now enabled. But there's one more step we want to take. Select the right arrow next to our connected phone. If Smart Lock is toggled on, select the right arrow next to Smart Lock. If not, make sure your phone is unlocked, and then toggle it on and enter your password. Then select the arrow next to Smart Lock. Once here, make sure that Unlock Device and Sign into Your Google Account is selected. You may have to enter your Google password one more time. Now your Chromebook should unlock and sign in whenever your Android phone is nearby and unlocked. You will get this pop-up and need to enter your full Chromebook password, not just your PIN, the first time you log on after enabling Smart Lock for it to work properly. And that's how to unlock your Chromebook with an Android phone. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, consider subscribing for more content like this, and be sure to check out whatthetech.io.